Hey there traders, it's Ben Nathan here from FX News Trader and I'm here in this two part video presentation to show you exactly how I use the companion app to trade the Forex news for me. First of all, let's take a look at the news in question. Now we have some New Zealand dollar or uh, Royal Bank of New Zealand interest rate decisions and monetary policy statements coming out today at 8 p.m. UK time. Now, I want to trade the release, but I don't really want to be at my screen at 8 p.m. So what I use is an app to do the work for me. Now, it comes in a form of an EA file, but don't be mistaken, it's far from being an EA because you remain, uh, you keep the full control over what is traded on your account and how and when. So first of all, how do I want to trade the Royal Bank of New Zealand interest rate decision? Well, I'm going to want to take almost like a scalp type entry to capture any spikes that happen as a result of what comes out in this release. So let's have a quick look at the charts. It, to put things very, very simply, the way I'd want to enter is to enter capturing any initial spikes that come from that news. Okay, so. The way I want to do this is exactly three minutes before the release, I'll have an entry set up 10 pips from price to the upside, which would be a buy stop. And I'd have a sell stop, also 10 pips from where price lies. Now to be extra safe, you can add the spread to that amount. But what we're looking for is a buy and a sell stop on the New Zealand dollar pair. So many pips from price. Now, I don't want to set those orders up more than three minutes before the release because there's more of a chance that we'll get the trigger early before that release happens. I want it to be exactly three minutes before. The reason being, it gives ample time for the broker to process the order, but also it still means we're probably going to be at less probability of seeing an early trigger. So the markets will start slowing down and hitting those very tight ranges just ahead of the release at 8 o'clock tonight. There's a problem with this though. Now to, to enter both a buy and sell stop manually, it can take a little bit of time. So what we use is a companion app to do that for us. Let me show you how it works. So first of all, we know that the release is at 8 o'clock. All I'm going to do is drag the FX News Trader app over to my charts. From there, I can pull in the parameters needed to tell the app when to trade. Now, I know my broker's an hour ahead, so the news will hit at 9 p.m. Okay, that's what time the news is going to hit according to my broker time. So I want any trades to be placed exactly three minutes before the release. Okay. Remember as well, we only really want to trade based off that initial spike. So if we don't get any triggers, I don't really want those orders hanging around there because remember, we only really want to be triggering or trading the initial reaction from that news. So therefore, as well as telling the app what time to open the trade, I'm going to tell the app what time to close the trade. Okay. I want to place the buy and the sell stop, as I said, and I want that to be 10 pips plus spread from, pip, from the, where price lies at that time. I want a stop loss of 15 pips and a take profit of 30 pips. And I want it to risk a maximum of 1% on my account. So I'm just gonna hit okay after following that short, simple process. Now, as it stands, as you can see, the app is now looking for long and short trades. So all it's gonna do now is it's gonna place those orders as and when I've told it to. So I can go away from my screen now, I can finish off for the day, knowing that exactly three minutes before that release, the app will place those trades exactly where I want it to. Okay, so the beauty of this is that you can go over and any high impact news releases, you can set the app up up to 24 hours in advance to capture the news for you. So what I like to do is each morning, as soon as I wake up, have a little look at my economic calendar, make a note 
of the times of the various high impact news releases, make a note of the pairs it's going to affect. From there, I simply drag the app over onto the chart and seal it up to trade exactly how I wanted to trade. So that's how we use the app, a very simple, quick process. In the part two of this uh, short presentation, we're going to have a little look uh, a little bit close to that time and watch the app in action.